Good morning and welcome to Sunrise at Seville. Please join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April 23rd, and welcome to Sunrise at Seville. Let's see, weather, well, you know I'm not much of a weather person, but I'm going to say it looks like it's going to rain all day today. Maybe 55. Looks like indoor recess. Going to have to play some Monopoly or some parachutes, something like that. Hey, and lunch. Well, lunch, lunch, lunch. Yesterday, my daughter was supposed to come over for lunch. Turned out she came over for dinner. She brought some food. We had some leftovers. So today, here's my choices. I could take this cheese and have a grilled cheese sandwich. You think I'll do that? Let's see. Or I take one of my jars of peanut butter and have peanut butter and jelly like I do so many days. Would I do that? Or would I have leftover Chick-fil-A? What do you think I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to have the Chick-fil-A. I can't control myself. I'm going to have to have that. Can't wait, really. All right. I'll be back to you, Mr. Chicken Sandwich. Hey, um, let's see. Birthdays. We don't have any birthdays in the school today. I looked it up. It turns out some famous people have a birthday today. John Cena. Do you remember John Cena? Does he still wrestle? I'm not sure if he does or not, but he has a birthday today. And also William Shakespeare. Do you remember William Shakespeare? Does anybody know him? It's his birthday today if he was around too. Well, the question of the day yesterday, I really liked that question. It said, why was six afraid of seven? Remember that? Got a lot of good answers, but I only had uh, one correct answer. And the correct answer was, Six was afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. Yeah, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. So six was afraid. And who got that right? Well, Jenna from Miss Connor's class, you got that right. Congratulations. You're now a member of our breakfast bunch. Congratulations, Jenna. Let's see. It's been Miss Dennis week all week. You know, we know a lot about her. Um... We know she's spunky, was a cheerleader, struggled a little bit in college, and then got really good at college because she did the thing that was hard to do. And she also said she loves to sing and she loves to dance. Matter of fact, at her house, they have a disco ball. You ever see one of those? Like sparkles in the room. She has a, And her and her children and husband like to dance. They dance and they sing. And also she said that she loves to have a microphone and talk into a microphone. You know she does that at lunchtime, right? You know something, Miss Dennis, I've been meaning to tell you, you don't have to shout into the microphone. One day I was late to school and I pulled into the parking lot and I was outside and I could actually hear everything you were saying and the doors were closed. It's a microphone. You can just use your normal voice and everyone will hear you just fine. You don't have to shout into that. Did you know that? Yeah, it's a little tip for you. Hey, also she likes to speak in different voices. So she's really good at English. You probably heard her. And she's been helping me with my English voice. And she's also practicing Australian, Italian, and Dutch. I can't wait to hear her do that. Maybe she'll do it while she's using the microphone. Let's see here. You know, did I tell you? Oh, darn it, I forgot to bring it. But Miss Wheeler, our wonderful Miss Wheeler, she sent me some cookies. Yes, she sent me some cookies. She heard my cookie story about my cookies breaking up, and I only had one cookie left, and she sent me some cookies. So thank you, Miss Wheeler. They're delicious, and that's so kind of you. Then I remembered, I really never told you the whole truth on that cookie story. I told you about the cookies I made, and only one turned out. But I didn't tell you that I tried, there was two batches. I guess you call them batches. So the, I told you about the second batch. I never told you about the first batch, because that was such a disaster. 
You see, the cookie recipe said, and you know it's the first time I ever made them, so cut me a break here. It said that you put a half a cup of butter in the mix. Well, I read that long, wrong, and I put in a whole cup of butter. Yeah. When you stir up a whole cup of butter and a little bit of mix, it, it, was a, it was like glue. And I think I had like two paper towels left in the whole house. It was a mess. It took me, you think about cleaning something up, that took me forever. I ended up throwing the spoon away. Yeah, I didn't have enough paper towels to clean it up. Threw the spoon away. Hope I don't miss that spoon someday. All right, so that was that. So when she gave me those cookies, that was so kind. And, you know, I had the disaster cookie day of, of a lifetime. And so she's beautiful. Chocolate chip yesterday, Miss Wheeler. They were delicious. All right, let's see. Question of the day. Yeah, let's have a question of the day. Why not? What is never used until it's broken? What is never used until it's broken? You know that answer? Be the first one. Be the first one. And uh, we'll get you into the breakfast club or a gold ticket or maybe a drink of water from the water spigot. All right? What is never used until it's broken? So that's pretty much it tomorrow. I got to remember to tell you the story about the possum. Yeah. You believe me and the animals? I have that groundhog. Tell you the story about the Remind me to tell you that tomorrow, okay? I think you'll get a kick out of that, the possum story. Hey, be respectful. Be responsible. Work well with others. Do your very best. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.